Hi, my tank currently has a brown algae bloom, or perhaps I should call it a diatom outbreak. This tank was cycled during the past five weeks and there's currently no trace of ammonia, nitrites and just a minimal trace of nitrates. It's a 215 litre tank, uh, that's 57 US gallons and it does have a soil base under the gravel. Now I've been uh, uh, growing the plants and trying to get them established so as the stems have grown I've been cutting off the top part and uh, replanting those so my concern really is that these younger plants have no roots and if they're covered by the brown uh, diatoms then they won't be able to photosynthesize and uh, may reduce their chance of survival if I don't overcome this now my understanding is that the outbreak is just an, a fairly normal part of cycling and it's an indication that the minerals or whatever have not yet found their true balance. Um, as, the, uh, as everything does equalise this should go away on its own. But uh, with my uh, somewhat tender plants I don't really want to uh, risk them so I'll have to do something about this. Now the first thing I've done is increase the lighting to 10 hours per day. It was on about six and a half hours but as I said oh, that's not a true algae uh, so the lighting is not the main driver of the outbreak. Now, my thinking is that the extra lighting might encourage the plants to take on a bit of extra growth which might uh, be able to outrun the diatoms. Uh, in conjunction with this I've endeavoured to scrape off some of the effective leaves to remove the uh, covering. Uh, that's had some li limited success. Now I've also um, drained uh, about 30% uh, of the water out. The water that goes into this aquarium comes from what you could call a outdoor black water aquarium as light never shines in it. It's a 52,000 litre rainwater tank. Now I drink this water, but is it good enough for the fish? The bottom of that tank must contain a good variety of life. And when I uh, transfer water into the aquarium, I'm also bringing in the potential for algae blooms and the like. Now I also have two nano tanks. So um, I've considered it a good idea to invest in a UV filter, a UV light filter. Now the one I selected was uh, uh, put out in New Zealand under the name AVU and understand the same unit is distributed in the States under the name of Green Killing Machine. I went to the uh, higher wattage model my thinking is that should I need to treat a tank or cloudy water or whatever then uh, I'll just put it in that tank and the high wattage unit will circulate water and hopefully clear it a lot faster as I don't intend to have one running all the time. So I siphoned out the water um, after trying to get it off the leaves and uh, scraping it off the rock and then I've filled it up with water from our drinking tank after filling the aquarium 
I uh, turned on the filter and I've left it running for two days. Uh, once again my thinking is just to slow down the spread of this uh, diatome outbreak. Um, so the UV filter will only treat what's floating in the water. What's in the filter, what's in the gravel, what's on the plants uh, is still going to be there and it will no doubt re-establish uh, across the tank. But my second focus of the attack will be uh, appropriate fish and um, I'm just uh, looking at that at the moment to decide what I'll get. I will most likely get Otto's or Siamese algae eater. My problem here is that it's two hours driving to obtain a suitable fish um, so it will be a few days before I can organise a trip. I hope to post a success story. Meanwhile, thank you for watching.